How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Secret Spaces, a weekly Twitter space featuring core secret network contributors and news from around the ecosystem. This week, we have Fina Wallet and Yoyu. Fina is one of the first mobile wallets for Secret Network. It's been out for a little while. They were actually the very first wallet to support secret applications on mobile. So it allows you to actually make use of secret applications on a mobile device, which was huge, very cool project. And Yoyu is a pretty new application, just launched on mainnet recently. They are an IDO platform. And we've got some news to announce related to both of these projects. So let's go ahead and get them introduced. Uh, Fina, you want to go first? Yeah, Patrick, thank you very much for having us here uh, today. And then uh, my name is Jay, and I'm one of the co-founders of Fina. And then uh, Fina is actually a project that uh, uh, aims to provide uh, amazing uh, crypto spending experience for every crypto owners uh, in the fiat society. And then uh, currently, and then uh, when we want to spend our uh, crypto in the real world, and then we still have to undergo different hurdles. And then, uh, so what we want to build will be something that allow people to do that uh, super easily. And then, uh, so uh, again, and I thank you very much for having us here. Thanks, Jay. And Yoyu, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, Patrick, uh, for having us here. Um, yeah. I'm Nick. I'm the co-founder of YoYo. We are an IDEO platform, which is listing startups in early stages. And our main purpose is to connect users and startup and uh, help community uh, help to create communities for startups and give everyone a chance to access IDEOs of very early stage startups. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Well, let's just jump into it. Uh, let's. Let's go into detail about both projects before we get to the announcement that relates to both of them. So starting with Fina, do you want to tell us a little bit about your project history and how you came to Secret Network? Definitely. And uh, we actually joined uh, Secret Network, I think, around a year ago. And then uh, we're fortunate enough to receive the grant and then uh, become one of the, the first few projects joining the ecosystem. And then our, we started as a, a wallet developer for the ecosystem. And then because looking back and then uh, what market has been lacking would be uh, a very mobile friendly version of wallet that allow people to use our uh, tokens, especially secret token. And then so we started as a, you know, our uh, wallet developer and then thankfully, and then uh, we are one of the uh, you know, one of the most popular wallet and in, in, in the ecosystem currently. And then uh, we have got around uh, 10,000 uh, users and then using uh, the uh, Fina Secret Wallet. And then and uh, what we want to build further would be actually developing a uh, prepaid card. And then that could allow people to uh, top up the card and with their secret token and potentially other tokens and then very easily and then converting on uh, the token into our uh, fiat money. And then uh, after crediting, you know, the car, and then they will eventually spend our uh, in the uh, fiat society very easily. They can buy, you know, stuff like Starbucks, you know, movie ticket and then everywhere when we see, you know, payment gateway, uh, which have been existing in the society such as Visa. And then so it is something that we want to deliver to the users. And then we do believe, and then as the ecosystem grows stronger, the need for having that card will be bigger. And that's why. And then uh, we're pa really passionate about uh, doing this to the community. Yeah, so not just a wallet, but they also have a Web3 prepaid card. And I believe that's in, that's like in like a beta phase right now, some kind of testing phase. Yes, it is. And then uh, we're very fortunate to uh, acquire around uh, 200 uh, beta user in this space and then we're now in a closed loop you know stage and then testing out different mechanism and the thing has have been uh, working very well and then a uh, lot of people are very actively using uh, you know our services and then that give us a very good opportunity uh, to do you know market validation and also you know enhancing the whole experience and then these are very vital and then to get ourselves ready and then when the part our uh, program really become alive, you know, early next year. Gotcha. And I believe it's not just FINA that this prepaid card will be able to connect to, but also MetaMask, Phantom, Kepler, a lot of the major wallets. So people will be able to just 
used cryptocurrency that they have in those wallets, pop it up into their FINA prepaid debit card and use that card to pay for goods and services. That's pretty much how it works. Yes, that's it. And then uh, for now, and then we are really focusing on, you know, uh, doing that for the uh, secret users. And then, but in the future, we do want to, you know, connect our uh, different wallets, you know, or uh, to expand our potential user base to, you know, border our, our ecosystem. And then for instance, MetaMask, uh, Phantom, et cetera. And then we also want to support uh, multi-chain operation and then allowing people, you know, or uh, to really, uh, are uh, utilize our value, you know, topping up the crop with different token, Ethereum, you know, Avalanche, etc. And then, but we do believe Secret would be a very amazing uh, beginning for us to start the project. Very cool, very cool. All right, that's a pretty good overview of Fina. I think. Anything else you'd want to add to it that you think is important before we move on to Yo Yo? Uh, yeah, a little bit about what's going to happen. And indeed, uh, we will be you know, doing our public sale very soon, you know, uh, starting on the 17th this month. And then so hopefully in this program, we can talk a little bit more about that later. Yep, definitely. That will be the announcement that involves both. So let's move on to an introduction of the YoYu platform. Let's just talk about pretty similar questions. How did your project start and how did you come to Secret Network? Yes, yeah, sure. So initially we were building on Terra and after the Terra collapse, we were scanning ecosystems to see, okay, where should we move to? Where should we go? And we wanted to stay on the Cosmos SDK. So uh, yeah, after a while we saw Secret and the teams on there and we really liked what they're doing and the whole aspect of uh, Secret blockchain. And um, then we saw that they're providing this uh, program, the grant, grant program, and we thought, okay, let's uh, apply. And then um, Secret Labs reached out to us and um, liked the idea. And then we had some interviews, some um, yeah, applying stages. And after that, we were granted with um, some secret tokens to start building and creating uh, this ideal platform on secret network and uh, now i think seven or eight months later we are ready our mvp is done and now we are starting with the first ideal listing uh, with fina and what's interesting about yoyo is that from the beginning on we decided to build platform for the user so we wanted to make everything super easy for the user. Um, currently, it only needs a few clicks, like five or six clicks to participate in an IDO. And we provide two ways for users to participate in IDOs. One is through staking secret tokens in the, in the app. So if you're staking secret tokens, you receive a tier and each tier has different allocation sizes. So we have five tiers. Um, the default is tier five. So everyone who connects with the app is automatically tier five and he can, I think, allocate $5. So everyone is already um, tier five. And if you stake secret tokens, you can upgrade to tier four, tier three, and each tier has a higher allocation size. So then the second method to participate in IDO listings is owning a YoYo NFT. So how can you do that? This is, um, we call it proof of passion. So if you're a very passionate user, you can grind your way up into the tier. So what you can do is currently we have quests on Sealy. You can head over to uh, our Twitter profile and there you will see the Sealy um, URL. On Sealy, you can join our community, you can do quests. And then if you uh, are putting in the work and um, are a very passionate user, then you will receive tier four and later tier three. So you can level up and these NFT tiers basically work like the staking tiers. So there's no difference. The only thing which you have to do is um, claim your NFT once you um, are the, on the level which you need to claim the NFT. And then you can just join the IDOs by having the NFT in your wallet. Yeah, that's about uh, it, how you can join IDOs. And yeah, now we are basically uh, connecting with a lot of startups and seeing, hey, what's interesting currently on 
on the market, who can we list? Um, so if you're a startup and you have a web, um, you have a website and the track record, or also pretty early stage startups can also come to app.yoyu.io and scroll all the way down and there you can apply. And uh, yeah, then we will reach out to you and maybe we can list you one day. So yeah, that's quick introduction about Yoyu. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. So that sounds like a pretty unique way of doing an IDEO platform, um, allowing those two different paths to getting access. I guess the idea is you, if you want to be a little more hands-off and you just have some secret laying around, you can stake it with the YoYu validator. That gets you access. And maybe if you don't have a ton of secret available to stake, an alternate option is to complete those quests on the platform get the Yoyu NFT. So that's just supporting Yoyu in a different way, basically, and still getting access to the different tiers. And I guess the tiers give you the ability to purchase more of the IDO token. Is that what the different tiers do? So it works like that. We don't have a Yoyu validator. What we have is um, it's a decentralized smart contract. So if you stake into the smart contract, the smart contract will claim your uh, secret rewards. So usually when you stake at the validator, you will get uh, your monthly rewards, I think, or you will just continue to get um, rewards and the smart contract will claim them and take them. So you will not receive your yield on that validator because you're okay, working on the smart contract. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So is it kind of like a 100% fee validator type thing where you stake with this contract and any yield that you would have earned goes exactly. to paying for that service? Okay, yeah, I've seen something like that before. I think Alter used a similar method for one of their communication Correct. platforms. All right, and another question I had, since you mentioned if there are any startups looking for a platform like Yoyu that they might want to use for their token launch, um, I believe it doesn't have to be a secret native app necessarily. Is it pretty much any IBC connected project, any dApp on any IBC connected chain that could potentially use Yoyu? Exactly, we can host all IBC um, IDOs, so we can list projects from every uh, Cosmos chain. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, that's powerful. All right. So we've covered both these projects, talked about what they do, and we've mentioned that FINA's IDO is coming up on June 17th. That's just four days away. And it's going to be on the OU platform. So that's the basic announcement. Is there What, what are the specifics? So on June 17th, you go to the OU website and it's just available right away? Connect your wallet and then you can browse our listings. Currently, there's only one listing, which is FINA. And then you will click on the listing and then you will be forwarded um, to a FINA URL. And um, there you can participate in the IDO. And once you're done, uh, you can click on listings, which will take you back to the listings. And we have like a dashboard where you can click and you can view the listings you participated in. And then, um, yeah, you have to wait until the IDO ends. And if the soft cap is reached, then the IDO becomes effective and everyone receives their tokens and FINA receives the payment tokens. And yeah, then you can claim the tokens. Got it. So between now and the 17th, users could go ahead and go on the FINA platform, or sorry, the YoYu platform. And would it be a good idea to go ahead and start staking with the YoYu contract so that they can be prepared when the IDO so, starts? Yeah, so we will enable staking very soon. So everyone can start uh, staking. We just announced um, like 21 days ago that users should uh, unstake to restake at YoYu. So we're waiting a few days. So everyone is ready. And then, yeah, through the staking, you will receive your tier or you already have a YoYu NFT. I think there are around 700 users right now who have a YoYu NFT and you are pretty much already ready to join uh, the IDEO. So, yeah. That's uh, the second method. Got it. And Fina, anything you'd like to add to that about the process or anything that you're wanting to announce about the idea? Basically, I think Nick has done a very good job in you know describing uh, the idea and then uh, what would what we would like to emphasize would be uh, actually and it would be a very good opportunity for users to experience you know uh, an idea program or uh, in the secret network. And then uh, not only first to, you know, uh, uh, Yoyu, but 
also to the uh, Secret Network, I believe, and then it's going to be a uh, very good experience for everyone. And then um, back to our project, we do believe uh, uh, our project would be a uh, popular one. And then because our, we do believe uh, spending with the crypto in the real world is actually a very strong demand. And then uh, since we launched our beta program, and then uh, we received uh, tremendous you know, responses from you know, people from, uh, from the global. And then so we do believe it would be a big hit. And then so right now it could be a good moment to go into the market to buy the token first. Awesome. So what are the future, let's talk about like future plans for Fina and Yoyu. What's next after this IDO happens? I guess from Yoyu's perspective, it's, we've already kind of covered it. We're going to, they're going to be looking for other projects um, that want to launch their token. So any projects that are interested definitely need to get in contact with them and let them know. And we'll probably see some additional launches happen this year from other projects. Um, what's next for Fina? Uh, I'm assuming it's the wallet, the card, the card launch. Yeah, and then uh, for now, and then we are only selling the token, and then the token would be actually uh, one of the requirements uh, that uh, users have to fulfill when they uh, apply for the card in the future. For now, uh, we are negotiating uh, with the Visa payment gateway, and then to make the card alive, and then uh, so far the process have, has been very smooth. And then we target to launch the card program in uh, 2024 quarter one. And then uh, quite likely that could happen uh, in that time frame. And then uh, between now and then, and then uh, we would be having a lot of collaboration, you know, in terms of marketing with different projects. And then uh, um, so, and then we will be having some giveaway events in the future. And then probably uh, in the second half of this year, and then uh, after the uh, token uh, is uh, token sale is completed, and then uh, we will immediately be listed on two of the decks uh, in the ecosystem. One of them will be Shape Protocol, and the other one will be Blizzard Thing. And then they're all uh, are members of the Secret Network. So again, and then our, uh, it's a very friendly ecosystem. So that's why we love Secret a lot. <laughs> Very cool. I actually see the Shade Protocol just hopped, hopped into the space, and that's something that I forgot to mention. So once FINA has completed their IDO, the token will be available for trading. The first place it will be available for trading is on Shade Protocol. That's correct? Yes, that's right. And then uh, we're very excited about that. Awesome. Dave, if you guys want to get up on stage, just uh, shoot me an invite and I'll bring you up here if you have anything you'd like to talk about uh, in relation to that. So the the FINA token itself, that's going to be used as access to the different levels of the FINA card, right? You have to you have to stake a certain amount of the FINA token in order to uh, obtain one of the prepaid card levels. Yes, that's right. And then uh, we are now planning to have uh, three types of card and then blue, silver, and black. And then in order to enjoy different types of staking and also spending reward, and then our user can choose their uh, staking amounts. And then uh, basically the idea is very simple. The more, you know, on uh, FINA token you stake, and then the higher tier you can go to. And then the reward is actually uh, uh, very appealing. And then uh, the staking reward can be up to 30%. And then meanwhile, user can also enjoy rebate for every penny that they spend. And then uh, the spending reward could be up to 10%. Awesome. Looks like we got Shade on stage now. Shade, you guys want to say anything about that? Yeah, I don't want to take up too much time. First off, thank you for allowing uh, us to come up here and chat just for a minute. And I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to express the excitement from the Shade Protocol team and community about the advancements of uh, Fina Cash Wallet, um, the card, and the abilities that this is going to unlock for um, both Shade and Silk Utility. I'm not going to give too much alpha here because um, it's not my place to say but I would say there's going to be, you know, the thing that we have kind of talked about as like one of the end goals for Silk, you know, being able to spend it and use it in real world. This opportunity is going to be coming sooner than most people expect. So I'll just say that if you are a supporter of Shade, if you're a supporter of Silk, definitely go follow Fina Cash, follow what they're doing and uh, get yourself ready for what's going to be coming up in the next few weeks. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So it sounds like you could potentially take your 
DeFi rewards from Shade Protocol, put them directly onto your Fina card and go make use of those and purchase things in, in real life. Yep, 100%. Exactly. I know Carter has used the example of like, we won't stop until we can, and this is not to say we're going to be stopping anytime soon, but you know, we won't know that we have made our next major milestone in like the impact we're uh, trying to make globally until silk can be used to spend, um, you know, in real world. And so I think this opportunity is going to be coming uh, in the near term. And I myself as a user and uh, the rest of our current user base and upcoming user base is going to be utilizing the hell out of this uh, out of this uh, tooling set that FINA is providing. So this is just me here saying like absolutely love what the FINA team has been doing and incredibly excited to see uh, what our collaborations are going to unlock in the future. Amazing. Well, thanks for dropping in, Shade. Maybe there's a little bit more we could say about Yoyu. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Nick? Sure, yeah. So we are very hyped about this listing and um, we saw a lot of traction on our platform in the uh, last few weeks. So we are definitely super hyped and uh, yeah, we know that the market is sometimes hard, but we believe that there are many cycles and yeah, we will see how this will turn out. But uh, we are very glad that uh, we can do this first listing with FINA and we really liked really like what they're doing and are also a big supporter of them. Yep, yep. Market conditions can be tough, but you know, there's still projects out there building. They're still going to be launching plenty more to come within the Cosmos ecosystem. So definitely looking forward to seeing some launches on the OU platform. That will be very cool. I know there's at least a couple of projects launching probably later this year on Secret that could potentially make use of it. So We'll see if we can connect them to you guys and set something up. For sure, 100%. How about from the wallet side, Fina? Is there anything else on the roadmap as far as wallet features? Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else that you guys have yet to build. Maybe you've actually completed all of those milestones, everything that you were trying to complete with the wallet itself. We got in our wallet, actually, and then uh, it covers uh, most of the basic function and uh, that you know, our typical wallet user need, and then our uh, and what make our wallet uh uh essential uh would be actually it would be a very mobile user friendly uh approach for users to talk of the Fina card in the future when our card is uh alive, and then uh now we do support you know capital wallet you know if users use their desktop they want to top a Fina card and then they can use capital. But uh, when users want to enjoy a very mobile friendly environment, you know, uh, with their phone and then on top of the car and then the better use of in a wallet. And then it is one of the most valuable, you know, uh, element for the wallet in the future. And then we also want to bring in some more multi-chain element, you know, uh, in the wallet, um, allow users to do more on off RAM integration. And then also it is something that we, we will be quite excited about and of course now our focus will be still you know the the card program and then but wallet is actually something that we see as one of our core asset and um, then uh, we um are very keen to you know uh, adding more you know amazing element in the future yeah that reminded me of one thing uh one quick note about the fina mobile wallet i know that secret tunnel application which is the Axelar powered bridge from EVM chains to secret. That has been desktop only for a while, but I believe it just maybe this past week went live on mobile with FINA support. Is that right, uh, FINA? Is that available in the app now? Can you browse it through the FINA mobile app browser, the DAP browser? It may still be in a testing phase. That's actually uh, uh, in our roadmap, and then uh, we'll keep everyone updated very soon. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I heard something about it. Sorry about <laughs> That's okay. Filling some alpha there, but yeah. All right, something to look forward to. Um, so the card itself, another question I had, I think there's physical versions and there's virtual versions of the card, right? That you could use digitally with your phone. Mm, that's right. And then uh, we do believe, you know, uh, with our smartphone 
and then all the card can be integrated into you know either Apple Pay or Google Pay, and then uh, it's getting like a trend. You know, people use their mobile phone to make all this payment, and but we still believe you know a uh, certain amounts of users do you know uh prefer having a physical card. So we are actually very open to this, and then uh so uh for the program launch, and then we are uh defaulted to have the you know physical card. And then, but uh, in the end, we do believe, you know, some of the uh, people and then uh, would actually skip the physical card and then they'll use the uh, digital card straight ahead. Awesome. Yeah, it's good to have those options. So that's that's pretty amazing. So imagine this. You have your Fino wallet. You have your Cosmos DeFi applications, which you can use through there. And then you have your Fina virtual card stored on your phone maybe connected to something like Apple Pay or Google Pay. So you could essentially go to a Cosmos DeFi application like Shade Protocol, maybe claim some LP rewards or some staking rewards or something like that, immediately top that up onto your FINA card and then turn around, scan your phone on something like you know a terminal at your local store and pay for a product with your DeFi rewards. You can do all of that from your phone. That's pretty awesome. That's that's some real world use cases right there. Yeah, and I would just like to add that uh, something that Shade has been working on um, very steadfastly is providing that additional mobile support. We've realized that a majority of uh, you know the untapped user base that we're looking to bring to not only private DeFi but you know just the general opportunities that Shade is providing. Um, unlocking that mobile support is going to be instrumental in providing that utility. Um, and so I'll just say that one, uh, having that mobile app support is going to be, um, or that mobile support is going to be incredible. And the synergies that we're going to unlock with FINA and other wallet providers are going to be, um, uh, really tremendous, uh, to be honest, but also we're working on, as far as I know, creating the first generalized, um, you know, like wallet connection framework. So basically users with any wallet um, that they would like to have uh, right now, pretty pro non Kepler wallets. Um, so seeing FINA come into the spotlight, seeing other um, secret network first and other Cosmos first uh, wallets kind of coming to the spotlight is really great to see. And we're looking to be able to provide that compatibility with all of these different wallets in the near future. So just something to look forward to for both supporters of uh, Shade and Fina and Starshell and any of these other wallets that are uh, non-Kepler, so to speak. Very exciting. Yeah, I'm going to go find that announcement. I think Shade just put out a mobile announcement on Twitter not too long ago. I'll pin that in the space so people can learn more. Yeah, I think when we put that out, we had two or three of the different uh, mobile views um, getting finalized out of like eight that we're working on. I think we're done with five of them now. So making steady progress. So really excited to get these mock-ups out of the community so they can see what the what the experiences are going to look like, but even more excited about actually shipping this compatibility. Sweet. Anything else you guys would like to talk about, you or you or Fina, before we wrap things up? So we want to make a little special announcement so if there's anyone here in this group who has not uh, checked out YoYu before or is very interested in having a YoYu NFT we will give away five YoYu NFTs so you just have to screenshot this um, AMA and share it on Twitter and link uh, YoYu, Secret and Fina just tag us, and then after a few days, we will reach out to you. Very cool. All right. So if you want a YoYu NFT, which gives you access to different IDO tiers, screenshot this Twitter space and tweet it and tag YoYu in it, and you'll be entered into that contest. Yeah, please also tag Secret and Fina. And Secret and Fina. And Shade, too, if you want to. Yeah, and Shade, too. <laughs> now, Fina and YoYu are the, are the stars here. Make sure to go show those guys some love. Um, two incredible teams that deserve some tremendous support. For sure. So let's let's get into the how to pro follow these projects. If people want to learn more, 
they want to stay up to date on what you guys are doing. Obviously, follow Fina and Yoyu on Twitter. What else should people do? You got some Discord communities or some Telegram group chats that people can join? For Fina and then uh, we do have our Discord channel and then so people can come find us and then, uh, but of course, they, if they want to know more about, you know, our latest development and then our Twitter would be the place to go and then do remember and then our upcoming and then we may have some giveaway uh, events uh, in the second half of this year. So really, you know, try to follow us and then of course, and then uh, if you guys are following, you know, our, our close friend like Secret and then Shay, all you and then you guys will keep you know, listening news uh, about us definitely awesome and of course if you're interested in fina definitely install their wallet and check it out give it a spin see what you think check out their mobile app browser you can try to use some secret apps on mobile it's very cool so to get more information about yoyu the easiest thing you can do is join our proof of passion program so you head over to our twitter follow us there and in our bio you see seely.io there you can join uh, the proof of passion program and also our discord and then you will always be up to date we also have a newsletter you can head over to app.yoyu.io and submit your email and then we you will also receive a newsletter awesome all right well thanks guys i think we'll probably go ahead and wrap things up here if there's no questions make sure you remember june 17th is the launch date for fina ideo on yoyu follow both projects on twitter stay up to date on what they're doing and we'll see you everybody here next week for another secret spaces tuesday at 4 p.m utc i believe we're actually going to have shade on there so maybe we'll do, give a little teaser for that shade you guys got anything you want to say about that yeah, I'll just quickly say that uh, these next two weeks are going to be um, full of a lot of announcements. Um, I'll go ahead and give a little bit of alpha here. Uh, this week, we're going to be launching an expansion of our collateral vaults for Silk. So we're going to see Wrapped ETH uh, being supported as collateral to Mint Silk, which is going to be a really important uh, milestone for increasing Silk adoption and uh, collateral stability. Uh, we're also going to be launching some new pools for any of the uh, partner incentives that we're going to be that are currently offered on ShadeSwap. So now users won't have to migrate these assets uh, to other chains if they wanted to swap them or utilize them. They can be utilized right there in app. And then um, on the 27th, we are going to be launching staking in the airdrop. Uh, so when we hop on the Secret Network Twitter spaces next week, we're going to be really diving into uh, the impact of staking and the airdrop and everything that kind of surrounds that. So a lot of a lot of big stuff to kick off of the meta engine with the launch of Shade Staking. Um, we're going to be seeing an explosion of utility for current supported assets and upcoming supported assets, uh, primarily focused on Ethereum assets. So a lot of really interesting stuff happening. So hope you all join us next week uh, for that discussion. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, super exciting stuff. And one last note, just from Secret Network side, a little bit of alpha from the network itself. Later this week, we will be launching a bug bounty challenge for the recently released product, Secret VRF. So if you're a developer, if you have any smart contract or Osmwasm development experience at all, and you're interested in potentially finding a bug, earning some secret. Keep an eye out for the announcement on the Secret Network Twitter. That should be coming out in the next couple of days. It's going to be a secret VRF bug bounty challenge. It's going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody, for coming this week, and we'll see you next week on Secret Spaces. Have a good one.